I'm on TV. Hey, I'm well, uh, in my case, this is my 10th year. I started the Who Camp experience and adventure with Mr. Wariashi, Mrs. Wariashi, 10 years ago. And I remember the first camp we started, if I'm not wrong, with 42 or 43 kids. And now we're over 140 with a lot of people in the waiting list. Uh, it was an adventure, uh, but the camps has been going, going every year, getting famous also, not only in Morocco, but also overseas. And it's really now became a, a great camp. Well, I believe that it has improved a lot and I, it's very organized. Before they had like the lunch hours all at the same time, everybody, and there were about uh, 200 kids. And it was like all hectic and everybody's pushing to get in line, but now they have it at different times with different people. What makes this hoop camp unique uh, relative to other camps I've been to is a few things. Number one, it's one of the best organized camps I've ever seen. And I have worked a lot of camps. This is one of the best organized. When you have great leadership in place, it makes everything easy. And Coach Iriachi knows what he wants and knows how to make that happen. And I think one of the neatest things about this camp is, you know, over in the States, we usually have the camp director and then the all the assistants you know everyone has a group but it's really neat here to see kind of a hierarchy where you have you know coach and then the main coaches and then the assistants so I really think that that level of hierarchy adds and enhances the camp in general and I think the age grouping is a lot better like because they have like 10 year olds 10 7 to 10 year olds 11 to 12, 11 to 14, and 14 to, and 15 to 17. I think that is a very good system because then uh, there are some higher levels, like the 17 year olds, they, they can like help out the 15 year olds, and the 15 year olds learn how to play at a 17 year old level. So I think it has improved a lot, and I think the coaches, I think this. The, the staff have, ju have just been getting better and better. So yes, Hoop Camp has improved a lot. I think it, it's very good that this camp has different levels as well because you have the younger kids and they can kind of see what the older kids are doing and kind of look up to the older kids as well as the coaches and the assistants and all that. And then it's also good because they can continue in a camp. They can continue to come back to the same camp every year and get kind of a comfort zone and continue to grow and learn in the program. It's kind of like a its own development program here. And I think that's really good. Dès que le, la, dès le premier jour, euh, tu as des entraîneurs qui arrivent, ça y est, il y a, y a, y a une, une communication qui se passe entre tous les entraîneurs. Et, et là, on, on, c'est vrai qu'on sent qu'on a constitué un noyau très important dans l'ouvrier chez Hopkin parce que il y a des, à chaque fois qu'il y a des nouveaux, nouveaux entraîneurs, mais déjà il y a des entraîneurs qui sont là, qui portent sur le dos, leur dos, le Wuria chez Hopkin. I think that, that the atmosphere that, that we can see here is it's very, very, very special, and that's the reason that, that I, I, I decide to come uh, every time that, that I come, that I can. Um, it's a very good atmosphere between the coaches, between the assistant, between the kids, and and and, and, and the um, the relationships between everybody. Um, it's a very good experience to come here in a different country, uh, with in a different culture, and, and and when you can mix different cultures, and all the, this mixed is uh, is in, in this camp. You can see in this camp, and, and it's very nice when when. When I come back to, to my hometown, uh, I can see that I'm more positive. <laughs>